This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create alphas inside of ZBrush? So this one's pretty simple to do, and I'm going to show you two processes in which you can create alphas inside of ZBrush. So to start off here, I just have the demo head loaded in. And this process involves just taking anything you've sculpted inside of ZBrush and turning it into an alpha. So here is the demo head, and I'm just going to position him on my canvas like so. So after he's positioned to your liking, so if you want him in the front profile or maybe the side profile, you just need to set the position on your screen. And then we need to come over to the tool palette over here and just simply click on any of the tools over here. This is going to open up the quick pick window over here. And we want to locate the MRGBZ grabber brush down here. Now when you select this brush, you're going to get this little dialog that's going to come up. And this is just telling you that it's going to switch the model to 2.5D. So we're just going to hit switch to that. And now my model has been dropped to the canvas as 2.5D data. So this is no longer 3D, so if I try to rotate this model now, you're going to see it's not going to allow me to rotate that mesh. So now I have this MRGBZ grabber active as my current tool. So if I drag this out, you're going to get this box type shape. Now when you drag this box out, you can hold spacebar to move it around. And basically you just want to frame the area on your model that's on the screen here of where you want to create that alpha. So if I want to create an alpha of the demo man's head like here, I just need to frame it like so, and then simply release. And you're going to see an alpha is going to be created from that 2.5D data. So here we have that alpha over here. And then we just export that out to use wherever we like, but just coming up to the alpha tab here and just clicking on export. Now the next option is if we need, say, an alpha that's a precise size. So here I just have a plain 3D object with a nano mesh applied. And I can come through here and change these values of this nano mesh here to get some kind of interesting shapes out of this. Now say I want to make a alpha out of this, but I need that alpha to be a certain size, say something like 512 by 512. So the first thing I need to do for this is come over to the document tab over here, and I just need to change my canvas size to the resolution of the alpha map I want to create. So right now it's set to 2240 by 1680, so I just need to turn off Pro, set my width to 512 and hit Enter, set my height to 512 and hit Enter, and then click Resize. Now it's going to tell you that this resizing is not an undoable operation, so we're just going to hit Yes to that. And now you can see here it has resized my canvas to that 512 by 512 pixels. Now you'll notice that this is now in 2.5D as well, so I just need to clear my canvas by hitting Control N, and then redraw that plane out. And then once it's drawn out, just go to Edit Mode or press T on my keyboard. And now I can reframe this to my liking like so, so just maybe something like that. And then I can come up to the Alpha tab here, go down to the transfer panel and click grab dock. So when you click this grab dock button, it's going to grab whatever is in your document or your canvas here and create an alpha out of it. So here we have the alpha map created from this geometry that we have from these nano meshes on that plane object. So those are two methods to create alphas inside of ZBrush. So if you have any additional questions on pipelines or processes related to ZBrush, Please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.